नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन एज आई वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट द वेरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द मल्टाइवर्स क्रिएशन एंड आई वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट इट्स क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू इट्स क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू शब्द ब्रह्मण यूनिवर्सल कॉस्मिक साउंड कॉस्मिक क्रिएटिव वाइब्रेशंस इन क्रॉस रेफरेंस टू अगेन बिंदु काल नाद एंड देन इट इज गोइंग टू आई मी एंड माई सेल्फ एंड फर्दर मोर आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति एंड आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक देर रेफरेंस टू दस अर्षट वर्गास काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद मास्चर्य नाउ एट द सेम टाइम नाउ आई एम स्पीकिंग अबाउट ऑल्सो आई वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट ऑल्सो सगुण शिव निर्गुण शिव ब्रह्म शिव एंड वॉट नॉट एंड शक्ति दट पवर विच लाइज डीप विद इन द पॉइंट ओवर हियर इज वन मे आस्क एज टू वाई एम आई स्पीकिंग अबाउट दैट it has a reference ladies and gentlemen when this cosmos which existed at macro and micro level it has various it had various creations like this beautifying the world and creating that kind of environment wherein you know an individual can uh uh enjoy the beauty of it as i said earlier if only be it macro or micro cosmos at their levels was not supposed to be uh, created then this human existence or the human race cessation was for sure however since at macro and micro level this cosmos started existing that's when the necessity for the human mankind or the human existence started as a whole now how far is this relevant to the subject of shastra or natya shastra is one of the challenging question which one needs to ask for himself or herself let's say like i am speaking on this subject why should i be speaking the reason is one needs to understand who am i what am i why am i over here what is my purpose if i am that i i or as an individual do i need to carry carry that uh, baggage of ahankara or the ego that this body existed due to me at the same time what is my purpose is it doing good deeds or bad deeds what is right and what is wrong what is that one right thing that i should be doing to correct myself to get to the stage of uh, state of uh, uh, near to perfection let's not talk about perfection the reason is not everyone can reach that level 
excepting for the realized souls like Ravana Maharshi or Ramakrishna Paramahansa, Swami Vivekananda or Shirdi Sai Baba. All of them are exceptions altogether. They never uh, thought that, you know, their existence is for this worldly affairs. Because I have personally experienced that in Shirdi when I was there for 21 days. I could see that happening in Dwaraka Mai. And I could see that happening in Ravana Maharshi's ashrama. Where in, uh, the place where he meditated, I saw that. The kind of vibrations that they hold is beyond a point. And even if I sit near Ramakrishna Paramahansa's statue or the sculpture, if I meditate upon them, meditate upon that uh, sculpture, I can feel those vibrations. The point over here is, how an individual can achieve this to this negative aspect to overcome these negatives in the life dharma artha kama moksha these are the four aspects of the very purpose of understanding that shakta brahman again and that is the reason why most of them, all of the seers say, start reciting shlokas, start reading shlokas, read Sanskrit shlokas. Sanskrit is a divine language in itself. It has that power deep within. It can be practiced through yoga, Yoga, meditation, then dramatization and dance recital. There are four ways to it. In these four ways, what one thing is common is that Bindu aspect, that feeble light that exists which is what is called soul. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. This is further advancement of what I spoke in my previous video about that universal cosmic sound. What is that cosmic sound that I am talking about at macro and micro level? I don't know whether... Uh, uh, a dancers or the professional dancers or the teachers or the one who is teaching have had ever experienced this but I have personally experienced that during my meditation and I am I am experiencing the same as well which cannot be expressed as to how it will be that and that agitation that happens Agitation of that explosive force that comes from Muladhara, so-called energy. When it touches upon that cosmic at macro level, it's one uh, uh, one level. When it touches at a touches at micro level, it's one level. Now, the point over here is this Natya Shastra or initially it was Shastra. The very purpose was to realize this point of cosmic energy level, highest cosmic energy level that is Brahman consciousness or the Brahman state of mind or the real definition of Brahma Tattva and its 
सृष्टि इज वॉट द वेरी पर्पज एंड गोल एंड एम ऑफ द नाट्यम नटना प्लस अंडरस्टैंड दिस when you do that namaskara before you are actually trying to imbibe that saguna nirguna shiva wherein you are touching upon that sat and anasat aspect sat is something that is true which is ever existing anasat is something that truth which exists for that moment of time kala understand this ladies and gentlemen this is the primary aspect of the dance form or dramatization wherein you try to empathize and sympathize you empathize in nut in this way and the moment you sympathize and you start expressing it will become this in the sense it will be in a closed circuit of knowledge but the moment you sprout it out it will become this that is lotus flower think about it ladies and gentlemen the point is today most of the scientists at various levels in the medical field in the science field and the scientific field wherein they are sending automated uh, machines to understand the planetary conditions to see if alien nation exists or aliens exist and <clears throat> at conscious level if i see there are many studies that are happening this has already been told in natya shastra or the shastra if you are able to understand that shabda brahman and trying to get in touch with macro and micro cosmic level this human existence is like that of anu and parmanu anu is something which is minute paramanu is something minutest of the minutest at the grassroots level anus and parmanus are existing by and large at crores and trillions in the universe in the form of stars this universal existence itself is having that and when a dancer dances if he or she is touching upon this shastra aspect i have not gone to mantra and tantra as it i am still in the introduction of what, uh, what is the very purpose of natya shastra and what is the deep down the lane why they have introduced this subject from the cosmic point of view macro and micro level which is again represented by nataraja swarupa nataraja swarupa in 360 degrees view this is what is like vishwarupa of lord shiva you need to understand from 
सगुण पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू निर्गुण पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू निर्विकल्प निराकार इट डज नॉट हैव एनी फॉर्म और आकार और शेप आकार निराकार स्वरूप वन नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल पॉइंट ऑफ एंड दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ शास्त्र और नाट्य शास्त्र ऐसा हो अगेन वन मे आस्क डू वी रियली नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एट द मैक्रो एंड माइक्रो लेवल माइक्रो कॉस्मॉस from the practical point of view yes as an individual as he or she is existing on this earthly existence till the time it ceases to unless he or she gets connected to that cosmos level this confluence this confluence he or she would not be able to understand what really that consciousness awareness is all about this is the schema or this is the practical approach of the human existence ladies and gentlemen the point over here is this cosmic creative vibrations which i am talking about these vibrations happen only when you get to get connected to that uh, universal truth or the universal cosmic sun what is that sound yes it is omkar pranav bija pranav bija mantra pranav mantra akara okara makara do point is you have to understand a point that this pranav mantra or the pranav bija mantra can be felt if and only if you are able to understand the shabda shabda is the root for everything once you are able to understand the, at this level that's when you will be able to get to that इच्छा शक्ति ज्ञान शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेडीज इन जेंटलमैन दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल प्रोसेस ऑफ द ड्रामेटाइजेशन एस्पेक्ट एंड रिसाइटल एस्पेक्ट इफ एट दिस लेवल वी आर टॉकिंग from the philosophical point of view today i fail to understand how the medical scientists or the scientists in the scientific field are not able to understand this very existence of the human consciousness awareness and this is where the human consciousness awareness true definition comes through and this is the practical importance of again shastra and natya shastra ladies and gentlemen i leave it on to you think about it for now let me close down on this let's talk much further about this universal cosmic sound and cosmic creative vibrations as to what really happens it much advanced level. till then stay blessed 
a blissful life. May the Guru's grace be with all. As a part of request, in case if you like the video or the content, please do like and share it with your friends. And subscribe, which could help me to do much more knowledge videos, which would be really helpful for the society as well as the individuals. At the same time, I do certain works like transcriptional works, writing articles, tra transcribing and the translation of the works as well in various fields in case any one of you have any kind of projects or any kind of works that you want to outsource please do feel free to call me my phone number is 912-137-9100 and I would appreciate scholars, dance teachers and research scholars research scholars to really encourage the non-performers to they have that mental ability to explain concepts please a request it's a request give them one opportunity to prove their word Stay blessed. Have blissful life. May the Guru's grace be with all. Expecting one and all to understand. Please do let me know in case if you have any kind of works. As I told, I repeat my number again. It's 912-137-9100. Have a nice day.